All right, fam. Welcome to my tutorial. And I've been busy lately, but uh, I have found some time to create this awesome tutorial for integrating Airtel, MTN, and Zamte Mobile Money Payments to your website or to your application using PHP. So, uh, in this tutorial, we are going to we are going to use Flutterwave PHP version three SDK. And it's on this repo officially it was posted by the Flutterwave team. So here is it. Here's the repo. So make sure that you download this repo before we get started. But in in our code, uh, I'm going I've modified some things, but you just have to download exactly as my code. So this is it. It is well well documented. Here it is. Yes, here it is. It's well documented. So uh I'll leave the link in description. So let's get started. It doesn't matter an operating system you are using. In my case, I'm using a Linux machine. Yes, I'm using a Linux machine in my case. Yeah, which is not a problem. And if you're using uh, Windows or, or a Mac laptop, you can still follow up this tutorial. There's no problem. But make sure that you have XAMP or ZAMP installed on your machine. So let's get started. So go to your htdocs folder in your XAMP or ZAMP and then create new project called new project. This one I've named it as new project, but you can name it whatever you want. And then there is this compressed file, which is flutterwave.zip. I'll leave the file in description so that you can download. You can download it so that you can follow up this. So I'm going to extract this one. Yes. So. Make sure that you start your ZAMP and then uh, go to your browser localhost. All right. Another thing before we get started, make sure that you, you, you have gotten your public keys from Flutterwave. So at the moment we are in test mode and these are my keys, my public key, secret key. So uh, you need to go to your Flutterwave to your flutter wave and then env you find dot env file open it and then you paste down this so public key i'm going to paste it here on public key public key uh secret key just like that secret key public key just like that until it matches everything so now that we have everything and the flutter have set up now let's test out our mobile money payments yeah so now we are in sandbox which means we are in testing so you go to new project folder flutter wave and then uh you go to payment form.php you open it so this is it but we need to modify some things here i just got this one direct from the sdk so uh payment form so if you are from Zambia, make sure that you change. So this payment form, it holds the values of the things that you want to purchase. Yeah, so this is it. This one, I'm going to call it, uh, you, we just have to change some values here. This one, I'm, I'm just going to call, to name it with levels to, and then country, since me, I'm from Zambia, I'm just going to type in ZM, the currency, it's ZMW, and then my email address here, uh, Comfort but co at which levels at which levels dot com. Whoops, my first name comfort, last name Chambeshi, my phone number zero nine six eight seven nine three eight four three. And then uh so this is it on this so this is the form and then once this form is submitted so once this form is submitted it will redirect to process payment.php on this process payment.php this is where the payments are processed so we can check the process payment file here it is so process payment.php it contains nothing but uh it's just process it just processes the payments so this is it so all right so uh product description well, let me j just say uh, Masuku. Let me just say Masuku. 
or maybe let me just say groundnuts. You know, I'm a huge fan of this groundnuts. Yeah. It, so this is it. Here, payment option. This here on payment option, you can choose card account USSD, and here mobile money Zambia. If you are from Zambia, so mobile money Zambia. So here you can put values that you want, but here we are on mobile money Zambia. So here I'm going to say payment options, mobile money, Zambia, ground nuts. Or, we, or if we want, we can leave out this one blank. So uh, for, for, good, for good training, I'm going to leave this, this one blank. So here on uh, name description, this is where you describe an item and then logo, a log, an image of an item. So type, name title, uh, the name of, this, of your store country you choose your country abbreviation if you're from nigeria i'm sure it's ng and if you're from uh i don't know about some other countries but and then the currency if you're from the united states you have to type in uh usg if, if you're from nigeria ngn yeah you just have to choose your currency code yeah just like that yeah here it is and then first name last name phone number and then pay button complete payment and then the reference of your transaction this has to be unique so i'm just going to add some 44 <laughs> yeah you know yeah so and then here we also have uh type hidden success url so this success url this is where uh it will decide to be redirecting after the payment is successful yeah after your payment is successful so we need to create this file so I'm, here i'm going to create something called success.php and here failure url this is where they start to be redirecting after a transaction has failed this this mostly happens when there's an insufficient credit in your account and uh, just some other options like invalid phone number insufficient credit and the likes and this one uh input type submit pay now this one it's not hidden it's this one that we can see here well if we if we want we can be displaying everything here but it will make a lot of sense or anyway let me just remove this from hidden so that uh you can see what we are talking about here okay let me remove them from hidden let me remove them from hidden yeah so this is it yeah so amount okay so amount logo so payment option yeah it's blank so amount payment option here on payment option you can type in mobile money exam but for now we're just going to leave it blank so that it can give us many options many payment options and then an item uh logo the name of your store country currency uh, your, your email the buyer's email buyer's first name buyer's last name buyer's phone number complete payment well payment button text here yeah, is good so now we are good to create a transaction as i said we need to create success url where things will be redirecting okay so we're going to name this one success.php so going to call this one success.php success.php let's check in our folder if it's created success.php so here it is and then we also create fail.php fail.php i save let's see if it's see fail.php so uh, the next thing is to test if it will work okay let's start again localhost new project folder new project new project here it is uh flatter folder uh payment form all right now we are good here we can change an amount if i want i can just say 50 50 zmw because i'm using oh yeah so and then pay now all right all right just a second i fixed that 
All right, it's only refused because of Linux permissions. Anyway, we are now good to go. And let me change something here in the title so that it makes sense, you know. I'm going to say uh, payment for groundnuts. <laughs> payment for groundnuts, yeah. Okay, we refresh and then we try again. So now we need to test this if it will work. And then you need to click on pay now. You can modify this to anything you want. Make sure that uh, you have. Okay, so and then I'm going to choose pay with mobile money here. Pay with mobile money. And then choose your network. So here I'm going to choose Airtel. I'm a fan of Airtel, you know. I'm going to choose Airtel. And then you type in your phone number. Three. All right, I'm sure it's the one. And then they'll send an OTP code. Yes, they'll send an OTP code. So they'll send a confirmation code to your phone number. Yes, so they'll send an OTP confirmation code. Something. So it, it shows something like this when your payment is successful. So which means your payment was successful. After they send an OTP, yeah, so payment successful. Sorry, guys. There was some sensitive information information that I had to hide. So this is it now. Our payment was successful and it has redirected us to success.php. So this is it, guys. So Flutterwave just works like this. So for proper documentation and SDK, you can find an SDK here. And on this success.php, you can choose what happens. Let's say uh, if you have a database and then you update some values and you set that cust you set that user as a, a customer in the database. So just like that, it goes like that. Flutterweb has many payment methods here. Let's let me go back. F Flutterweb has many payment methods. It supports card, mobile money, and butter, something like that. Butter. So you can use Flutterweb payment on your platforms. Okay, I've used platform. Uh, I've used Flutter on many of my websites here for making payments, and it works just perfectly. And in the next episode, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to. In the next episode, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to integrate uh, Flutter with payments on your Python Django application. So this is it for this tutorial, guys, and. This is the site which where I integrated Flutterwave. So I'll leave a link in description. And for music selling online, you can just visit nimbo.com. I also leave a link in description. Thank you for watching this. Cheers.